Okay, can I ask you something? Mm-hmm. How many straws did you find? <laughs> hey, put it on. <laughs> uh, I think I must have picked up at least 20 or 30. 2030. Okay. And did you find any syringes? Yes, I did. Would you say you had more syringes than straws? It was How many syringes? It's about the same. Okay. That that strikes me. Well, that's still that's still bad. It is horrible, especially after we found out the city was already cleaning up right before we got here. Personally, I didn't think. I thought that there would have been more syringes than straws. I don't think that straws are the issue. That syringes are an issue. But if there, if that number is even close, so 20 to 30 syringes as well as straws. Yes, and sometimes, you know, with the two pieces still together, and sometimes just one piece of the needle, it was bad. Yeah, okay. Did you find anything else that should not have been on the streets? Would you say like you found a lot of like... fecal matter? Yeah, <laughs> fecal matter. A lot of fecal matter. We had a certain person picking it up and putting it. Wow. So you Ma- actually mentioned had a... the city cleanup before. Yes, the city did. They were here. I actually thought that it was our group already cleaning, and I realized that it was the city, and that's still what we got after the city cleanup. The city didn't do any good job. Look at after that, there's still so much in here. For once, they did their best. Yep. <laughs> and that's but their still, best. that is a ton. And even so, as you can look over there next to that trash can, there's still an empty pizza box and, and plastic bottles lying around that is yet to be cleaned up. We could still do another round, I believe, right here at City Hall and probably fill up another bag or two. I'm sure we could. I'm sure we could. <laughs> I, I want to ask, I hate to ask more gross questions. Like, anything else? Did you find, like, any maybe feminine waste products? Um, yes, that and a lot of urine. And amongst some of that feces matter, it, there was like, it looked like pancake batter. Oh God. There was barf. Uh, it didn't surprise me. I get pretty wasted con- around condoms. here. Oh, yeah. uh, that was my next question. <laughs> there, was condoms. Condoms. there was condoms. There was condoms. A lot of drug bags. I actually saw three drug deals happen in front of me in less than 30 seconds. Yeah, they don't Where care. Where did they get the <laughs> condoms? I don't know. The they, they provide to me? Like they care about that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they give out condoms. It's just Planned Parenthood gives out condoms, just like the, the physicians are giving out syringes. That's true. Yeah, they don't. Do it. They want us to be dope addicts and stop breeding. That's the sad truth. No. Yeah. It's it's population control. It is. It is. And right here, this is you know, they say San Francisco is the heart of this. Now this is the brain of this. The heart is across the bay. I was actually telling them I lived in Tijuana for a while. Did you? This was worse than that. Are you serious? Was that drug deal, everything that happened to me, a family that was trying to go to the building. Well, just to clarify what you said. You said this was worse yes. in San Francisco, downtown San Francisco, was worse than Tijuana. It was. Because that, what I saw, that whole drug deal, and people actually consuming the drug, can only be in the darkest spots of Tijuana. Really? I find that. I don't know if you know somebody that knows somebody or not. People it's not shoot like, up right here. It's not like this in plain sight. I saw her as I was coming in. When we went back to pick up the trash, those same guys that we were doing the drug deal were a block over. So they just move around. They just move around. We walked right through a few drug deals as we were cleaning up. Could you tell what they were selling at all? Yes. Cocaine, crack, and uh, what is it, crystal, right? Just right on the street. Right on the street. Actually, there was a gentleman that you wouldn't even think because a van pulled up. It was a nice van. He was dressed nice. And the transaction happened. And we looked over and we said, see? Right there. I think it's just a moment. And then we saw another one where a female that was with the gentleman that was doing the direct transaction went and grabbed some of the males walking by. Bring them. Oh, yeah, you want to get it, you want to get it. Oh, that's cool. Like a hug. I love it. Do you have any suspicion as to why this level of enabling is going on, mostly, especially in a city like this? It's supposed to be the heart of the Golden State. We're not enforcing quality of life laws. Why is that not happening? This is disgusting. Why is this happening? We have a Democrat supermajority. Hey, Louisa, let's get the picture in front of hold any of them accountable. They bring policy and policy just based off of feelings and emotions. I get nothing done. Yeah. They, they get nothing done. They get nothing done. They get nothing done. Look at the I felt more. Oh, yeah. It's a reason. Let me take it. I'm giving up. 
You got it? Okay. Yeah. I felt safe right now. I like this. if not the most dangerous city in Mexico. Yeah, this is also. And to compare San Francisco to that. I, for my know of this, one of the chief, the chief of police actually said, you're caught, like, you're caught in San Francisco, at the very least, like, you pull out a gun. You're caught with a gun and you pull it out. You'll most likely be released the next day. You'll probably be released the next day. They just don't care. They don't care. They don't care. That person that attacked the lady they were looking for some place to marry. They just gave her a ticket. They gave that person a ticket first. So that's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. They said that after they get released the third time, the record is expunged. Oh and he's very good with social media. Like I just got a ticket. Yeah. Walked away. Like I said. Like I said. The chief of police even said this. If you get caught with a gun, not just caught because you had a gun on you, you pull a gun out and you brandish it in the city of San Francisco, more than likely you just get released the next day. The process you release it the next day, you'll be back out on the streets, no problem. And then, and then probably your charges will just be written off. They don't care what. Prostitution, nothing. Drug sales, warning. Setting up a tent in, some, in front of someone's house or in front of someone's business, warning, maybe a citation, if that. It's, they don't care. They don't care. It's gone. It's gone too far. And I'm glad somebody's doing something. <laughs> this is a big. This is a big. Oh my God. Filled with not just trash, but shit, needles, feminine waste products, and oh my God, surprisingly even straws. <laughs> Take it to Pelosi. It's her problem. <laughs> Let's make it a problem. Anyways, thank you so much for talking with me. Oh no, thank you. Yes, it, it was. Your input was very important because I didn't actually pick up some trash. As soon as I got here, right when I set up, the whole incident happened with Antifa, so I didn't. I wasn't a part of any of it. But we only had a few people go out there. Everyone makes it just crazy. Yeah. And even then, Antifa was holding them. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Be sure to please subscribe. Chroman Seventeen. Check me out. I'm on all platforms. Either Chroman Seventeen or Chroman underscore Seventeen. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, even Xbox Live. We don't do that. Even Xbox Live. Yes. So.
I was punched by Antifa today, but I went back to my ghetto hotel and I put on my dress because I love America! Never underestimate the power of a body at an event like this. It is shameful that this venue canceled on us. That's right. I have had venues cancel on me in Salt Lake City and Chicago, and it is shameful because in America, free speech means free speech for all. And the left does not believe in free speech, but we do. So are you guys going to speak up for Brandon Strzok? God bless you. I, am, I came all the way here from Salt Lake City, Utah, because I've been very depressed. Things have been very difficult. Everybody hates Lady Maga. But do you guys hate Lady Maga? Do you have anything you want to say to Antifa over there? The transformation. Yeah. Cool. There you Thank go. you for punching me in the stomach today, because it only made me that much stronger. That's right. And a drag queen who got punched in the stomach. Yep, I sure did. My lips hurt, but that did not stop me. Yeah, you guys, we are strong. We are together. Give each other hugs. Lift each other up because this is a movement based on love. On love. Love, 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 love. Okay, now who's going to be the photographer? <laughs> it can't be me anymore. I was going to be the... Let me Albert! Let me! Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Hey! Hey, Brandon. I'm a front line in America. Ben Berkman? Yes, yes. How are you doing? Hey, we love Ricky Rebel. Ricky talked earlier. Thank you. 
Alright, you guys are gonna have to face the street. So we can get the street. Towards the street. Hold up your walk away sign in front of the women's Your attention this way, please. Thank you to everyone that came here today for our walk away LGBT town hall. Yeah. Now my question is, the people over to our right, why don't they want to hear from gay conservatives? Why do they want to shut down our speech? They are actually being fascist. And again, I want to reiterate this because people need to know their history. Cuba put gay people in concentration camps. Nazi Germany executed gay people and took away their guns. The Democrat Party is also hell-bent on taking away guns from gay people. And my question is why? Why shouldn't I have the right to protect and defend my existence? Right? right. Yeah. Now the most important thing that I want you to walk away with tonight is don't just go home and said, wow, I saw Brandon Strzok and Ricky Rebel and Scott Pressler, I feel awesome. That's great that you came, but you guys are seeds. The Democrats tried to bury us, but they didn't know that we were seeds. And we are sprouting, and we are flourishing. So what I need from you, whenever you meet another conservative person, you ask them, are you registered to vote at your current address? And if they are not registered, then go to vote.gov, vote.gov. Because I tell you right now, Donald Trump won 63 million votes in 2016. We're gonna get upwards of 75 million. And you know what the best part is? The best part, honestly guys, I never thought this would be my life. I started off as a dog walker. I started off picking up dogs droppings. Now I'm picking up trash in cities across the country. I want you to know that we are family. We are a no judgment movement. We are love. And before you leave here tonight safely, I want you to trade your number with somebody. Get to know your local San Francisco community because we are family and we are gonna come out as such a fierce and ferocious force in 2020 the Democrats won't even know what came. Thank you for standing here with us. Thank you for supporting Brandon Strzok. Thank you for walking away from the Democrat Party. Yes. And thank you for helping elect Donald Trump! Yeah. I love you. I love you. I love all of you. Let's do one last love chant before we go. Love, 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 love. Thank you guys.
Thank you so much. Thank you, Brandon. Scott Presser, thank you so much. Ricky Rebel, thank you so much. Blair White, wherever you went, thank you so much. Mikey Arlo, thank you. Do we know? Do we have a, a, a wellness check on Blair White? <laughs> Blair White. Everybody, thank you so much for coming out tonight. This is not what this event was supposed to be. I think you know it that. It was better. It was better. <laughs> and do you know why it was better? I'm going to tell you why it was better. Because we, the silent majority, were unsilent tonight. We were unsilent. And I want us to be unsilent every single day going forward, especially leading to November 2020. Unsilent! 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 Now do me one favor. Do me one favor. Everybody, very peacefully and very calmly, let's disperse tonight. Everybody get home safe. Make sure that the person next to you is safe. Make sure that everybody gets home, that we're, we're that everybody is looking out for one another, okay? Thank yeah? You. Nobody gets hurt tonight. Nobody gets hurt tonight, all right? Everybody, let's take care of each other. Let's slowly disperse. Let's get out of here and get home safe. I love you all. Good night. Thank you for coming. Can you get all the megaphones? Yeah. And if anybody wants pictures, we're hanging around, so come get your photo, videos, whatever. Let's do it. This is a love fest. Yes, it is.